Okay, this is a <clears throat> representation of my table saw in my shop. I have it mounted on this base to get it up uh, a little higher. And, um, you know, that worked out well. But I think in the process of doing that and the process of moving here about five years ago, uh, it's just a little out of whack. Uh, this, this, these two extension wings here, are if I put a straight edge on my table saw they're sagging a little bit and then my extension table out here is just below the, this surface so I've got these little humps to get over all the time with my fence which I can show you right here so whenever I move my fence you know, as I get out here, it slides fine. When I get to this point right here, where it meets my extension wing, I've got a little bump right there. And so I gotta bang it over that, and then and then I can slide it, and then, you know, then it's fine, but I, but I still, it bothers me, I'll, I guess I'll put it that way. So, <clears throat> what I also have, uh, going on is my router table insert is right here and I've got fairly good dust collection below that but I'm going to create uh, something better and I'm, I've, I've envisioned this right here which is uh, just a, a box basically to go and wrap around my router and the lift and have it bolt, you know, or glued to the bottom. That'll do two things for me. I'll, I'll be able to have better dust collection out here. I'll, I'll hook a four inch elbow there. And it'll also give me a little more stability around this edge of my lift. So I'm gonna do that. Then the other thing that I have is right here this open space and currently I have a, a deal that's hung from the bottom of my extension table and that's not really a, a very good idea because there's a lot of weight there and I think that might be part of my problem as well so this is the other thing that I've uh, come up with or envision I guess is this rolling cart now I, you don't see it with you see it here, it's off the floor. I, I don't know what size casters I'm going to put on here, but I am going to have something that that rolls around. And I've designed it in such a way as to, I've allowed about one inch space around all three sides here. So one inch on the top, one inch on this side, and one inch on this side. So that I can roll it in and out of the of the. Uh, space there so I can bring this in or out and then I'll have drawers in here as well so that'll give me more space um, the one thing it's going to take away is I had a, a shelf right there to um, slide my fences into so I may or may not lower this down a little bit and still have that shelf where I can put the fences that I'm not using, slide them on top of that. Um, but this is going to be an after project after I get everything done. So I, I'm, I'm going to get, still give that some thought. So <clears throat> the one last thing I want to show you here is, is this. This is my setup as well. So I have my ultimate work table behind my table saw and you don't see my sliding table out here either right on this side here I've got my sliding table attached uh, you'll see that when I go go downstairs and show you my my actual setup but uh, I guess what I'm getting at is I don't have the flexibility of using this from both sides I only have the, the ability to use it from this side and that side. 
a little bit over here, but not a lot because I've got a shaper that's sitting in that area there. So it's the old uh, thing that that's going on right now is, you know, what comes first, you know, the chicken or the egg type deal. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do before I tear my saw apart is I'm going to build this extension table first. So I want to go back and show you this again. And I'm going to hide this as well here. There. So I'm going to build my table first. I'm going to reuse these legs. But before when I built my table, I had, I think I had probably three ribs in here at least, which is too many. And that kind of caused problems for me too. I couldn't really do some things that I wanted to do. So I'm going to build my skeleton out of poplar uh, uh, stub tenons in here uh, like you saw Alan do on his video when he built uh, Jerome Little's extension table. I'm going to use that same design and so I'm going to have my extension table all set to go. Uh, I won't cut my router lift in there just yet it'll just be a blank table but I will build a box that goes here as well. So that'll be there. And I'll be able to install all this stuff before I, before I put it on my table saw. So I'm, uh, I'm going to use my old setup to build my new, my new uh, table and box. Then I'm going to tear everything apart. I'm going to shim up these wings. I'm going to make sure everything's nice and straight and flat across the top there. And then I'm just going to start putting it back together. And uh, I'll show you that process. So today's, uh, today's day one and I want to get busy and get after it here. So I'm going to I'm going to go downstairs and we're going to start tearing into this thing. Okay, from the virtual world to the real world here, you can see my setup now. And uh, over on the right hand side there, you can see that shelf I was tell telling you about. That's where I kind of got a bunch of stuff just kind of crammed in there, but it, but it hangs from the extension table and I want to eliminate that. I'll be able to take that and use that to build my box for my dust collector uh, that's going to wrap around my router tape, uh, router lift. So uh, there's a lot of material there It's in its Baltic birch plywood. It's good material and I'll, I'll reuse that. So the other thing that I, I failed to mention to you uh, upstairs is that I also have to be um, aware of the, of my electrical hookups here. Let me adjust this camera up a little bit here, which I didn't uh, didn't tell you about. But uh, you can see the switch from my table saw is out front there, and I also have a switch from my router there, um, tucked in behind my fence. So I'm gonna uh, deal with that too. I'll show you how I'm gonna deal with that. That's pretty easy actually. So, but like I say, there's my there's my actual setup. I still got a little cleanup to do yet from uh, from my uh, building my stools for my pub table, but they turned out fantastic. And uh, I guess I'm just gonna get busy. I'm gonna grab some poplar that I have on my my rack over there and and start building the five pieces I need to make that extension table frame. And then I've got some Baltic birch plywood upstairs in my garage for my top. So let me get busy and make those pieces. Uh, but before I go, I, I want to show you that, uh, I want to show you my stools. Uh, I'll bring one in here, they turned out fantastic.
got finish on them and they look great. I'll show you the hopefully that'll clear up there we go. But uh, I, I couldn't be happier with the way these things turned out. Let me grab uh, let me grab it and I'll show you the top here as well. Nice finish on them. And they are very very stout. I mean, they just I you know, uh, from concept to actual building and uh, sitting on one couldn't be happier there. They're a great project. Uh, the joinery was a challenge, but it, but it's still, uh, you know, it turned out great. If you don't do something out of the, out of the norm once in a while, you'll never know if, if you can do something like this. And uh, now that I have, it gives you a little more confidence to go on and do something maybe a little more challenging than this. Time for the center ones, center mortises.
Okay, I'll square all these up and then uh, we'll cut the tenons and the uh, stretchers to length. So I need 28 uh, wide by 44 long is what I'm working with. These pieces are 44. By, oh yeah, 44 by 3. You were wondering what I'm making here. So we got two pieces, 44 by 3 inches wide by about 13 16 thick. I got the other four done. But there's something about woodworking that never gets old, and that's a sharp tool cutting up, cutting wood by hand. This one I didn't get, my second pass I didn't get all the way over here, so I got a little more cleanup to do on this end. But we'll get it here. Okay, get the last one. I'll do this last one and then we'll uh, size the, the boards and cut the mortise or the tenons on the end and see how she goes together. Okay, I just had uh, this piece of scrap when I ran my other boards, so I am, it's the same thickness, but it's not the same, it's not the length I need. And that's what I'm trying to determine here. So I just cut my, my tenons, and I'm going to plant this together, and I want to make sure that that shoulder is bottoming out. It looks like it is. It definitely is on that end. Okay, so there's my my pre-finished width. What I'm going to do is take a measurement off of this. I need 28. Uh, this is 18 and 5 eighths right on the money 18 and 5 eighths so my piece uh, needs to be 18 and 5 eighths 28 hang on a second so 28 minus 18 and 5 eighths is three eighths nine and three eighths. My piece needs to be nine and three eighths longer than this shoulder to shoulder cut. So that's what I'm going to cut them. Uh, I'll cut them. Yeah, nine and three eighths longer. 
and I should be fine. And then, and then I'll get my, my 28 here. So the inside shoulder is what I need to pay attention to. So let me cut those. I'll cut all three of them, put tenons on them, and then we'll come back. Okay, got all my tenons uh, fitted. You can see I marked them here okay if, I, if it, everything worked out fine. Top one's marked okay. Everything is marked. A one, two, three, four, and then the center one is marked as well. So it's dry fitted together. It looks, it turns out to almost self square it, everything. So I'm going to glue it up, uh, double check it for square after I get, I'm not going to clamp it this way to my bench like I do now. I'll have my clamps underneath here so I can check for square. But uh, it it uh, it worked out pretty pretty well. I'm real happy with the way the, the fit is. So I'm going to glue it together and then uh, when I come back well, we'll start working on the on the top and once I get that cut to size and make sure that that's good and square uh, then we will um, go to work on tearing apart this saw and, and giving it a good good uh, tune up. So we'll be back after a, a bit here. I'm a, You don't need to watch me glue this up but I'll, I'll glue it up and then we'll We'll come back and have the top ready to go on it.